Moving on from them, I want to talk about the Celt- uh, the Suns. It's one of the last uh, of the major moves that we wanted to talk about. Uh, like, last major move of the stuff that happened this offseason. The Phoenix Suns. They're 6-6, six and six, which, all things considered, ain't bad. Devin Booker's played in four games. Excuse me. Bradley Bill's played in three games. Devin Booker's played in four games. Bradley Bill is now, will now be out another three weeks, at least, for reevaluation. He's going, he's having these back spasm issues. And I was spinning, if you know, if you, first off, if you still listen to this late into the pod, you're a real one. But secondly, if you listen to this late in the pod, and I was looking for like 30 minutes. I don't think Bradley, I think these back issues with Bill are new. I was trying to see if, why he was out, because he missed some time last year. During some stints. From what I can tell, I don't think it was back stuff. From what I can tell, he hurt his back during training camp or preseason. And it's just been downhill ever since. And one thing about back injuries is they don't go away easily. Like we're seeing it with Ben Simmons. He's out again, you know, suffering with this nerve stuff in his leg. All tied, I think, all tied to his back. Uh, a lot of people were worried about Michael Porter Jr. He missed like a year and a half due to his back. He's, you know, knock on wood, he's been great um, for the Nuggets since then. And we haven't, you know, haven't really had any issues. He missed like a year and a half because of his back. That was one of the things people worried about him coming into the league. Back injuries in the NBA, in any sport, really are really tough to navigate. Just because you got to think, working your regular nine to five, if my back hurt, I'm jacked up for the day. But he's out with back spasms. Booker's only played four games, but when in the games he's been in, the Suns are three and one. Kevin Durant's been absolutely fantastic. Kevin Durant has been absolutely fantastic this season. Uh, Kevin Durant does so far this season. 30 points a game, 52% from the field, 50% from three, 86% from the free throw line. Absolutely fantastic. And I'm not, how can I say this? I'm not too worried about this Suns team, mainly because it's, and there's honestly nothing you can do about injuries we knew how this team was con- constructed that all three of these guys were gonna have to play great for them to be and they just haven't played together all three of those guys haven't played a regular season minute together they haven't played a game together all three of them and at least we won't see it for another three weeks because now bookers out but we saw last year bill and kevin durant they're good enough to keep this ship alive they're gonna score enough to keep the ship alive uh because a lot of the times in some of the games that the suns lost in the six and six especially when it was just kevin durant out there the game would be close all game where the Suns might even be up for most of the game. When it comes down to the fourth quarter, the Suns and honestly, even Kevin Durant were struggling a little bit because the defense knows, oh, it's the fourth quarter now. We're sending two. We're sending two. We're sending two. So the Suns were struggling in the fourth quarter of a lot of these games and ended up losing a couple of close ones. With Booker coming back into the fold and being there on the court, I don't think they're going to run into that same issue. Just because KD is going to have another guy on the court. Like, he's just going to have an outlet. It's going to be another guy who can create and get his own shot up. And it's just KD out there. It is just KD out there. No disrespect to the role players that they got on the court. Grayson Allen's been solid. Eric Gordon's been solid. Uh, like they, they've been solid. Some of the guys have been solid. They're just the way the team is conducted. They're not meant to step up to the extent of, yo, now you're the starter and you're playing 35 minutes a night and we need about 22 from you. Like they're, they're just not going to be those guys. Well, players they have on this team are simply not those guys. Uh, I've been personally extremely disappointed in the use of Nurkic so far this season. He had a solid start. Part of my disappointment is I picked him up on fantasy late in the draft. I was like, oh, that's a nice little pickup. You know what I mean? I thought I was going to have something there. Been horrible. Uh, not horrible, but just disappointing. Right now he's averaging eight and nine, 40% from the field, 23% from three on two attempts a game, uh, which is weird because he shot 36% last year on three attempts a game. But the year before that, he was 26 percent but that's also the year that dame was out so i'm hoping i hope at least for nurkic is once more the uh once booker's in and as he continues to play once they get bill back that nurkic will look better and in the same breath nurkic he started every game so far but he's not closed out every game they've closed out a lot of games with drew eubanks because drew eubanks is out playing nurkic i don't think nurkic has been the defensive minded center that they thought he was going to be when they made the trade for him i still don't think that trade was a a failed trade on the Suns part. I think they made that trade because they felt and DeAndre Ayton felt that that relationship was just not salvageable. So they had to do something. Cause there, there have been times, them first couple of games, Nurkic was making some passes. He was catching on a roll, you know, being that, that connector piece that I, I love centers. And I've said this before, I love centers that can roll and, you know, I mean, distribute the ball a little bit. But I haven't seen that from Nurkic, at least in the last, after like game four, it's really been downhill for you. The silver lining, and then we'll move on from the Suns, because outside of the injuries, there really ain't much to say other than Kevin Durant's been great. The silver lining for them is this year isn't a bust year. This isn't a, a, a championship or bust year for them. It ain't. Kevin Durant's still on him for two more years. He's a free agent in 2026. Booker's still on for four more years. He's a free agent in 2024. And Beal is, uh, 
two more years in the player option. So he might be here to 2027, 2026 at the early. So they have at least two more full years of this unit. Now that could be good or bad, especially if Bill's back injury continues on and we know Kevin Durant's injury history, things like that. But you know, knock on wood, hope everybody's healthy. There's no real reason to panic if you're a son. Obviously you wanna win as many games as possible and you want your players to be healthy. But there's really no reason to panic.